Let me see, get a good sized fish that I can swallow whole, okay? You ready? Ready for the fish? No, 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 don't fall back. Don't fall back. You ready? Good boy! Oh, okay, that works. You gonna eat it? Go ahead and swallow it. Good boy. <laughs> you got me cornered. I got nowhere to go, dude. You got this. Good boy. Good boy. Perfect size fish for him to eat. About the same size as his head. He's gonna crush it down. He's gonna swallow it all. And that's great food for an American crocodile, considering that these animals grow up in the mangroves eating fish and crabs, lobsters, small sharks, anything they can fit down their gullet. What is going on, beautiful people? Good morning. I'm here at the Everglades Outpost. We're out here at a little cutting station. And I've got a lovely gift from my friend Walker. He's a fisherman, so he's always bringing me fresh bait from the ocean to feed my crocodilians and my other reptiles. And we got a nice big bag of fish right here. Straight out of the ocean the other day. Lots of fish, good meat for my crocodiles, and great food for the caiman as well. So I think what I'll do, let me see what kind of pieces I have in here. All right, so we have some good sized pieces right here that some of my crocodilians can eat whole, like my smooth front caiman. But obviously Ziggy and the other guys are a little too small to be eating fish this big. So some of the stuff I'm actually going to chop up. So let me, ooh, Ziggy could totally eat that one. We're going to feed Ziggy that one for sure. All right, let's see. Let me chop up some of this for the other guys, some of the really big pieces, so everyone can get a little something. I would use a cutting board, but I don't have one at the moment, so don't judge me, okay? All right, so some nice, easy cuts, kind of like I'm cutting bait for a fishing hook so you get the guts on the inside too and that's gonna be a nice meal for little zigzag might cut some more up this is a lot these crocodilians are gonna be eating good i think what i'll do is i'll feed some of these whole fish to jade my black throat monitor because i know you guys have been wanting to see jade for a while she's doing good she's a big old piggy and she loves to eat her fish so we got some good cuts right here throw some down the bag nothing like feeding fresh fish to your crocodilians good variety in the diet all right, so let me just clean this up, and we'll see you guys by the crocodilians. All right, you're a little too excited. We have a rule, remember? I do the pop, and then you come. You're too gun ho right now. Look at you. Beautiful smooth front cam, getting big as ever. We're going to offer him some fish. Let me see. Get him a good size one. That's going to be... No, don't you fall out, dude. Stay inside your enclosure. Go back. Go back. Let me see. Get a good size fish that you can swallow whole, okay? You ready? Ready for the fish? No, 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 no. Don't fall back. Don't fall back. You ready? Good boy! Oh, okay, that works. You gonna eat it? Go ahead and swallow it. Good boy! <laughs> you got me cornered. I got nowhere to go, dude. You want another one? You want another one? Huh? Come on. Good boy! This is really cool because, of course, this came was a gift to me. He was already. Where are you going? He was already two feet long when I got him, so I didn't raise him from a hatchling. And once he got used to food, now he's my best friend. I'm gonna put him back inside his enclosure real quick. Oh, relax, relax. He doesn't like getting handled too much, obviously, as you can see. He's still got some fish in your throat. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but you can't hang out outside the enclosure, okay? No, no, stay, stay. You ready? Want some more food? Come on. Come on. Come on. I know you want more. Come on. He's still swallowing down the food. You just need to go inside and get some water so we can swallow it down with no problem. <laughs> you ready? Come on. Come on. Some nice fish. Come on. Good boy. Oh, he loves his fish. He smashes them with no problem, eats them whole. Really good diet for him. All the guts, all the fish oils, all that good stuff that they love to eat. You gonna swallow that up? Who's gonna stare at us? Was it too big? He's gonna go swallow it up. The water helps swallow him down the food a lot. All crocodilians, they do need to get a little liquid down their throat to make it easier. Let's see, he's gonna swallow that thing up. There he is, he's just gonna crush it try to angle it perfectly so it can go right down to his throat. It's no issues. All crocodilians must come above the surface to swallow their prey. They have a palatal valve. It's just basically a valve that keeps water from going into their lungs so they can hunt underwater with no issues and not drown when they're hunting. All right, cool. So we're gonna let Trigger eat alone. 
finish his food. That should be a real good meal for him. Let's we'll start feeding off the rest of this fish before it starts stinking. Got all the flies following us around. Lots of good fish still to feed off. This is for you. This is for you, okay? I love you, Jay. After I feed Ziggy, I'll be back. I love you. I love you. Okay, okay. 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 Stay, stay. Good boy. Uh, my meal, my meal, huh? Little Ziggy! Come on, Ziggy! Come on, Ziggy! Come on, Ziggy! Come on! Is the water not high enough? The water's a little shallow, so it's not easy for him to get out right now, but little Ziggy's crazy, he'll jump out. If he's encouraged enough, so let me get the right size fish for him to eat. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Look at that, perfect little fish for him. Ziggy, oh, motivation, motivation. Come on, Ziggy. Come on, Ziggy. Come on, Ziggy. You got this. Good boy. Good boy. Perfect size fish for him to eat. About the same size as his head. He's going to crush it down. He's going to swallow it whole. And that's great food for an American crocodile, considering that these animals grow up in the mangroves eating fish and crabs, lobsters, small sharks, anything that can fit down their gullet. So this is the best kind of diet I can offer to my American crocodile. And he's been growing like a beast. Ooh, we got another small fish here. Perfect, look at this. We got another little fish. Perfect for me. I love feeding this guy fish. He gets so happy. Look at that, perfect. Old crocodilians, so many different species on the plant. There's around 26 to 27 species currently of crocodilian. And depending on where they're found, is the kind of diet they're adapted to eat. So American crocodile, eating in the mangroves, eating in some estuaries, alligators, usually eating in the swamps. So, you know, a crocodile, he's gonna be eating lots of marine life, this American croc. An alligator, he's gonna be eating lots of snails, turtles, garfish, small mammals, other alligators. And then you get animals from like India, like the gharial, that have modified snout just for fish. So when I get my facility and have all these different crocodilians, you're gonna notice we're gonna feed different diets for the different crocodilians around the planet. So we're going to learn a whole lot about crocodilians over the years. Come on, Ziggy. Come on, little Ziggy. Good boy. Good boy, smashing the fish. Such a good crocodile. I love him so much. Breaking it apart underwater, thrashing around, putting the head right down to his palatal mouth so it's easy to swallow. You can do it. We believe in you, Ziggy! Oh, good Ziggy. You want some more, Ziggy? Come on, Ziggy. Let's give him some more fish. We need him one more. I don't know if we have another one that's real small for him to eat. Here we go. Nice little chunk of meat right there, a little bit of guts in between. Ziggy! Come on, Ziggy! Come on, Ziggy! Come on, Ziggy! Come on! Good boy! Good boy! You like that? Huh? That's a good piece of meat right there. Some sashimi from Uncle Walker. Good boy! Awesome! Alright, let's go feed the rest of the crocodilians. We're just gonna close this up. I love you, Ziggy! I love you so much! All right guys, I'm also gonna take a chunk of fish out and offer it to Finn the Fly River Turtle. He might not eat it right away, but all these little African cichlids will tear at it and eventually he's gonna come out and chew up on that. That's great protein for him. Because believe it or not, Fly River Turtles will eat fish here and there, so they do like a little bit of protein in their diet. So I'll leave that little piece of fish. They're gonna have a go at it. And you know what? I might even put another tail in there. We're gonna put a little fish tail in there. There you go. So even if the eel wants to take a chunk, you can get some fish too. Look at them, they're like little prawns. These little African cichlids, they act like I've never fed them before. I feed you guys all the time. Stop making me look bad. We're also gonna put a little fish in for Finita. So if she wants to go eat, she can go eat. She's actually on the other side of the tub. Go ahead, go ahead. So she'll eat that. We're gonna offer Bruce some food. There you go, there's a nice little chunk right here. Let me grab that. It's just a little snickery with the tongs. I'm struggling. Uno momento. All right, nice little piece of fish. Bruce, 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 you want it? Bruce, oh, there we go. He decided he wanted to come up to eat, so he grabbed underneath the surface. When he's ready to swallow it, he'll come up and chunk it down. He'll throw it back. Have a good meal. I'm gonna take it from you if you don't swallow it. 
I'm gonna take it. Good boy, see that? I threatened to take his food, he starts swallowing it faster. Go ahead, finish it. Such a beautiful caiman. Broad snout caiman, found in Brazil. I believe Argentina as well. They can be found in fresh water, brackish water. They love to eat crustaceans, snails, small mammals, reptiles, and of course fish. <laughs> All right, well, it looks like Bruce is gonna be a little secretive with eating today, so we're just gonna let him be. So I love my little Brucey, I want him to have his privacy when he eats. And of course, we have my smooth front caiman in this tub right here. He's not gonna eat in front of us, that's guaranteed. So, oh, look at this, speaking of eating, look, Finn's eating the fish, look at that. I told you guys he loves fish, look at that. Great, All right. man, I'm actually gonna put more fish in there. Because I know he was gonna eat that, but since he's so hungry, I think he's gonna want a little more than that. So I'll put another chunk in there just in case the eel eats the second chunk. Oh no, the African cichlid stole it. Poor Finn. All right, let me get Finn another piece of fish, I feel bad. <laughs> Poor guy. Okay. All right, guys, just like I was saying, I'm just going to put a little piece of fish in there for the smooth front cannon, blue. I'm going to put it right here on his little ramp where he goes to bask. And it fell in the water. But he'll find it. No problem. All right, so we're going to use the rest of this bag to feed the Jade because that's a good amount of food. Nice nice amount of sushi to fill her belly up and she can bask for the rest of the day. Oh, it's, it's leaking. It's, it's, it, I'm not doing that. Like the moon in the sky, like a big piece of pie, it's Jade. All right, guys, you know my lover, my, my, not my lover, but you know my sweet girl, my sweet baby, Jade. What's going on, baby? I've had this girl since I was 13 years old. She was two feet long, and she's my favorite lizard. Come here, want some fish? Want some fish? Yummy, yummy. Come on, want some fish? It's the good stuff. It's the good stuff. She's like, that's not a rat. What is this? Oh, it's sushi. Oh, it's sushi. Ooh, ooh, a little taste in my mouth. A little excitement. A little excitement. Come on. There you go, good girl. That's a good meal. She loves to take down some fit. Oh, and it's gone. So Jade is a black-throated monitor from Africa. This locality is actually from Tanzania. What makes them so special is their ability to take down snakes, large land snails. These guys are the ultimate land monitor of Africa. And what's crazy, she's a female. She has a, a nice petite head. That's pretty common with monitor lizards. Always the females have smaller heads, but the males have bulkier heads. And with the black throat monitors, they have huge toad big broad heads that are designed to crush down giant African land snails. It's actually built up a lot of their diet. You swallowing down that food? She's like, mm, I need some, I need some Fanta. I need some Fanta to bring this fish down. Come on, you want some? I guess she doesn't want any more fish, that's crazy. How about this, I put the fish right in front of you. Huh? I put all the fish right there in front of you and you have it later, okay? Huh? Is it the camera? It's making you a little shy today, I see. I think she's just like, I don't know, I'm not used to eating fish. She's gonna have to hang around it a little bit, get used to it. She might have some more right now. You want know some more? It's a funky taste, I know. It's nothing like a rat, right? All right, I'll just leave the rest of that fish for you. Give you a little kiss on the head. I love you, I love you. All right, beautiful people, I'll see you on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay gangster, but most of all, yeah, just stay gangster. <laughs>